I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Here, I'm switching over the side boxes to Monday. One thing about working overnight, you will be responsible for changing the racks, slide boxes, whatever that is needed to change over for the next day. Sometimes you will be responsible for pulling the biohazard bags, changing the sharps, disinfecting all the countertops and phones, etc. But night shift is responsible for switching over to the next day, pretty much. This night I was working in Blood Bank. This hospital has the IH500, aka Clifford, and this machine will run your typing screens, antibody panels, it will do antigen typing, pretty much everything, and it's really nice to work with. So here was my very first order of the night. So if you have a blood bank analyzer, you will just put your sample on and then you will have your results, the type and the screen. Um, but if you're at a hospital that doesn't have an analyzer, you would just set it up at the bench. So here I am setting up my 3% cell suspension. Adding in my anti serum for my four type. And now I am mixing up my red cells for my reverse type. So once your tubes are done spinning, you're going to look under your tube agglutination viewer and look for any agglutination. I have to get the button off the bottom, I just have to, but here are the results. So I did A and O for comparison. On the top we know that O patients do not have the A or B antigen and so the first tubes are negative and then the D is positive so this is O pos. And on the bottom, we have the reverse and forward type for an A positive patient. After I know my patient's blood type, I do a immediate spin cross match. Here I am simply labeling the units with the patient's information and we're going to just place the units back in the fridge and wait for the RN to come and pick it up. So it is 3 o'clock in the morning and I am sitting in my car but yeah we're chilling and I'm going to try to vlog for the whole week. I'm gonna bring you guys with me. I tried to vlog last week, but I was so unhappy with the way the footage came out that I just didn't even post the vlog because it was all grainy. So I've done a little bit of research to try to figure out how to make my video footage on my iPhone look a little bit better. I'm working on it, I'm working on it, but hopefully you guys enjoy this week. I'm gonna try again, get some good footage of me at work and what I do.
back over in blood bank I got a core blood workup that's what CBW stand for here I'm just washing the red cells to remove the warden jelly that can cause false agglutination getting my reagents out of the refrigerator and we're just going to do the forward type and perform a DAT So here was the four type for the baby. So here I'm on my last step of doing the DAT. I have to add coon check cells to make sure the IgG was added. Just like that, the night is over. It is over, babes. I'm gonna go get me a smoothie because that's what I like to do when I get off work. I usually make my own smoothies, but I need to go to the grocery store and I don't have everything I need to make a smoothie. I ran out of almond milk, not almond milk, oak. I ran out of oat milk. And so where's my chapstick? Um, so, no, my chapstick is not in my purse. So we about to be chap lip today. Yeah, so we're gonna go get a smoothie. I'm off work. It is seven, about to be seven fifteen, and then I don't really know what else I need to do today, cause I don't have my tablet, which has my planner on it. Jumbo green smoothie is hitting the spot. Okay, so we in close enough. Can y'all see the mouth? 
mountains over the top of the clouds. I don't know if y'all can see that. I hope so. It is so pretty in person. So pretty. Beautiful. <laughs> One thing about me, I'm gonna bag into the space, okay? into a space because when I'm ready to go, I want to just pull out of my spot. Okay. One of my goals for today, I need to find out. I need to go on ASCP and find out the exact date when my license, my certification. I want to say license. It's not a license. Like here in Hawaii, I have a state license. ASCP is the certification company. I am working in chemistry. Right now, I'm just preparing some tea billy reagents, making sure to read the instructions so I don't mess this up. So it is about three o'clock. I'm taking me a break. I'm eating a Mexican pizza that I got from Taco Bell. It has been just a horrendous night. And so I'm just behind because um, over the weekend, the weekend crew did not do the weekly maintenance. So I tried to do that, but it is just so busy. It just does not stop. as it began it just was a crap show from the time i got there to the time i left i'm gonna change out of my scrubs and go do laundry because at this point i have no choice but to go do laundry my stuff around to the laundry mat over here that takes cards and that's the one we're gonna use so we're about to get my clothes gathered up and head straight back out of the door yeah, because there's only so many hours in a day. So, catch y'all later. <sighs> so, I'm sitting in the car finishing off my chicken teriyaki sandwich I got from Subway. I was hungry and I'm sitting in the car waiting for my clothes to dry. There's a lot of people sitting inside of the laundry room and you know, COVID. I was just thinking about 
just work and I'm trying not to because when I get off work, I really try not to think about work. I kind of want to, I guess, vent about it because I'm, I know other lab techs watch my video. So I know you guys can probably relate. I was working in chemistry and here in Hawaii, the analyzers that they have are the Covas 500s, okay? Usually for me, my calibration passes no problems. Today, for whatever reason, my ISE part of the calibration just failed. So I'm like, fail? Okay, what's going on, what's going on? So I was like, hmm, maybe I, maybe some cross contamination or something happened. Maybe I accidentally put the high and the low, mixed up the reagent. So I was like, let me, let me mix up the calibrator. Make sure I'm paying attention. Make sure the low goes where the low, high goes where the high, DI goes where the DI water goes. So I put it back on there, fail. So I'm like, what, what is going on? So I pop the instrument open. Okay, so yeah, so I opened up the instrument where the measuring cartridges are, the electrodes where the uh, sodium chloride and the potassium cartridges are, just to make sure no like condensation or anything crazy. Yeah, it's kind of hard to come out. Um, hold on, you guys, because the electrodes were fine. Okay, I when I redid the new reagent, it failed the first time. I ran it again, and and it's okay. I don't know how many times I ran. I'm probably saying I ran it more than, but. I can't even remember how many times I ran it because it just, it takes so long in between and it took up the whole night, you guys, for it to run calibration through. So it takes up a lot of time to have to keep rerunning it to see if it works. But anyway, finally get that to pass, but it's almost like six o'clock and I still had to take the other instrument down, change out the reagents, you know. But at this point, morning run has started so it's busy. There was so many samples. I mean, it was eating through my reagent. The other machine started crying for more reagent. So it was it was a crappy night. It was a crappy night. I got my QC. I got my QC done on the other analyzer right before I left. have went up to the floor and my co-worker went to lunch so it's just me and right now I am waiting on my blood cultures to dry and I'm gonna look at those and he said the only thing running in chemistry is a lactic and he gave me the tea so I was over in chemistry yesterday and when I was bringing up the analyzers my ISC check, not ISC check, my ISE calibrator kept failing. Um, but nope, coming to find out, it was a new lot and it needed to be, the numbers needed to be fixed on the analyzer. So yeah, I was all up in the instrument, messing with the uh, measuring cartridges, the electrodes. Anyway, I'm right now waiting on the morning run. Morning run starts around four. Let's hope it's a better uh, night for me. I hope it's as quiet for me, okay, until to the morning run. But I'll catch y'all later. Okay, let's turn my AC off first of all. Because that was one of the things I hated about the vlog I tried to do last week. Is that the AC in the background was very loud. Give that a try. Have anyone else tried these from Target? So it's supposed to be candies that is one serving size and it's only three grams of sugar. So I picked up a bunch of different flavors because I want to try those. Okay, so this here 
Whenever I'm craving pizza and I don't want to go and buy a whole pizza because if I go and buy a pizza, I will eat the whole thing. So to give me my pizza fix, what I do is I buy the numb flatbread and then I put a little bit of tomato um, pizza sauce um, by this brand here. I like this brand pepperoni and cheese and bacon and there you go a pizza right there it tastes just like a pizza Now, your job, um, wherever you work, probably will help you earn your CE credits, but since I'm a traveler, I am responsible on my own. I pay for like a yearly, it's like a yearly fee where you can get unlimited CE credits. And I usually buy that when I renew. It'll tell me, do you want to also buy you know, unlimited CE credits. And I'll be like, yes, please. Okay, so after you complete the article and you do your quiz and you do the survey, you'll go back to your dashboard, you know, go back to this page where um, your continuing education is. And then it'll pop up under unallocated, right? And so then there'll be a link here that says allocate now. Okay, and it'll be red, so you'll select where you want the credit to go. So I'm going to put it for hematology and press save. Now, if you're using your CE from your job, right, you'll click this and then you'll fill out all the information and then save. But I'm doing it on ASAP. So I clicked hematology and then save and now my credit is right there hematology I have the two credits I need and I'm done with that one so now I just have to do all the other credits I'm going home, make me something to eat real quick. I like to get away from the hospital and take a quiet lunch away from the place I'm trying to take a break from. Um, so, yeah, that's why I like to drive home. But anyway, let's see how the rest of, our, um, the rest of my night goes. So, I came home for lunch. I'm eating just the pulled pork sandwich with some french fries shout out to this young lady dominique i love watching her lab content videos and i'm so happy that her channel is growing but if you are interested in another lab tech more like lab tech videos check her out dominique on youtube i'm always on youtube watching stuff so yeah i'm gonna munch down my lunch and head back to work. Oh, yeah. oh. very dark and so I am chilling editing some footage before I go out today it is six o'clock in the morning and the sun is slowly it's getting a little grainy when I sit 
zoom in, but the sun is slowly peeking its little head from behind the clouds. Yeah, I can't zoom in too close. But yep, nice view in the morning. Dance with us. Be with us.